Well, good morning, movers, and welcome to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. This workout today is gonna to be an inner thigh and booty burner. So, I'm gonna use a variety of dumbbells in the workout. Some are gonna be body weight. I'm also gonna use a resistance band. So if you have one, grab it. If you don't, this can be done without the band as well. A lot of people wanna lose body fat around their inner thighs, but remember, you can't spot train. What you can do is pay attention to good nutrition and work out and train like this. All right, are you ready to move daily? Let's do it. Let's start for a warm up here. Let's definitely take it down to the floor and stretch through that inner thigh. Of course, we've got quite a few side lunges. If you haven't done a side lunge in a while, and then all of a sudden you do it, that inner thigh the next day is like wowza. So, good stretch here, just to really lengthen out that short and tight little muscle right inside there, the inner thigh. All right, ramp up through the back. Keep your legs wide. Let's stretch into the hamstrings a bit here as well. So a couple of these exercises I haven't done before. I did a little research more on inner thigh um, combinations. I said combinations. I meant combinations or compilations. That's mixed together. <laughs> anyway, so it should be fun. I'm excited just to see how it feels in my body. Let's take it up and around here. And uh, yeah. You can let me know as well in the comments below what you thought afterwards and uh, maybe even the next day. That is when it kind of comes out well for me anyway. I get that delayed onset of muscle soreness at least 24 hours later, maybe sometimes even 48. One more time down here. Okay, and rock it side to side. Let's bring that heel up. Flexing into the calf a little bit as well when we're on this side. Oh, good. Okay, round up through the back. Let's go into a stationary lunge here just to get glutes and quads warmed up here, a little bit around the knee as well. Five more on this side. All right, go ahead and switch sides. And drop it down. One more here. Good. All right, let's go into a regular squat. And we're gonna come up to the tiptoes here, just because one of our exercises definitely is gonna be up on the tiptoes in a releve plie squat. That's new, and if you're a dancer from years ago, then you'll remember that terminology. My daughter definitely knows what that means. All right, good, and last hip opener right here. more. All right, you ready to get started? Grab your dumbbells, your mini bands, your water, and let's go. You're going to start with a side lunge rocker. I'm going to hold a 15 pound dumbbell. Legs are wide. I'm going to rock to this side. Then I'm going to switch dumbbell grip, alternating just like that. Toes face the front. Ready? Hips back and low. Reach. Good. This can be done round one without the weight if you're like, oh, that's an aggressive start, Tracy. Feel free. Please don't drop that dumbbell. Okay. Nice flat back here. And just reaching side to side. Good job. 10 more seconds right here. Good. We're moving into a sumo crunch, crisscross. So hands behind your head, wide stance, low crunch, 
Low, crisscross, opposite side. Here we go. Low, crunch, low, crisscross, crunch, low, crisscross. Connect to your back after this. So down on the ground. Oh, I got my heart right up. You're gonna go into a crisscross scissor and then open. Only go as open as you can without pulling anything. Okay, ready? So criss, cross, open. Criss, cross, open. If you need to support the outer thigh with your hand, feel free. Just so you don't go down too far. Remember, gravity will pull your legs down here, so you gotta control. Wow, I'm feeling that inner thigh, for sure. Little sumo squat leg sweep coming up. Sumo squat, wide stance, low and sweep. I'll call halfway, we'll stay on the same leg until I say, okay. Ready, low, up. I'm gonna do it without a weight, round one. Round two, I'll hold a dumbbell here. Sweep, inner thigh here. Good. Last one on the side and switch on the fly. Sweep. Good. Getting a nice little glute action too on the squat. Of course, I forgot to start my watch again. <laughs> Ow! All right, nice. Let's go back to the start again. So. You're gonna do that side to side lunge with the dumbbell pass. Take it wide. Shoulders back. Here we go. Reach and reach. Feet are facing the front. Back is flat. Alternately, you can be here if you don't feel comfortable with the passing, okay? See? Your choice. Okay, 
crisscross, open, ready, criss, cross, slow, slow, criss, cross, slow. Nice. Keep the legs straight. Three, two, mm. all right, come to standing. Let's go into that sumo squat sweep. Okay, ready? Wider stance, stick your chest out. Same side. Oh, it's gonna hold the weight, darn it, I forgot. Oh well, it's gonna be a longer workout, so I'll add weight later on. Last one this side, and switch. Last here. All right, one more round. <clears throat> Back to the top. No pass. Really targeting that inner thigh so far. It's good. Take it wide. If you face the front, here we go. Hinge and two. Work this. Reach your hip back. Tummy is tight. Really don't want your shoulders to round here, so if you keep your head up slightly and look out in front of you. It helps not to round the shoulders. Good job, in three, two, and time. Okay, let's go to that. Sumo crunch, crisscross. <clears throat> Five for the 15 second break here. Take it wide. And low crunch, crisscross here. Switch. Okay, take it down to the ground. Scissor, open. Okay, legs up, hands out. Criss, cross, open. I'm being really careful on this one. I can see how if I, you know, kind of pushed further than I should, I could actually hurt my hips. I'm just going slow, control. This is a new one for me. All right, last exercise in this circuit. Sumo squat sweep. I'm gonna hold the weight. Maybe just an eight. 
right here. Take it wide, feet front. Low glutes, low, and sweep, same side. All right, switch your legs. They're washing the streets out in front. I see the uh, street sweepers going by. And I'm like, I look outside this morning, it looks like it's poured rain, but they're just washing the streets. Ah, that was a great little circuit. Okay. Water if you need, join me for circuit two. We'll start you with a goddess plie pulse jump. So we take the legs out super wide. You're gonna go low, low, up. So toes actually face out, even more so than a plie. Okay, get as low as you can. Pulse, pulse, jump, pulse, pulse. I'm not gonna go super fast here. Trying to get to 90 degrees on my inner thigh there. It'll be interesting when I edit to see if I'm actually low enough. I'm not sure if I am. If you need to break, just do a plie or a goddess squat without the jump, like that. I need a break for a second. Down for an advanced clamshell next. I'm gonna grab my band. Slip it above my knees. Okay, that was enough there for me. <laughs> All right, above the knees, I've got a medium band here. I'm not gonna use my super heavy. Side line, you're coming up to that bottom knee, extending that leg. I'll call half, low, up. Okay, just not rapid here. I'm gonna just focus on squeezing everything. Thinking of that inner thigh low, exterior thigh high, and glute low. Wow, let's work. All right, switch your side. Move, 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 and go. heavier band for the next exercise which is a goblet squat slow and extended keep that band on if you want come to standing I know this is a quick transition sorry above the knees again put tension on put tension on so a little wider than shoulder width and low pause press low pause press that's it pause press don't lean over too much. And up. Side view here. Low. Pause. Press. Low. Pause. Push. You want a lot of tension on that band. Okay, you can also hold a dumbbell here if you don't hit the band. All right, slip the band off. All right, I'm gonna take a lighter dumbbell, give me my eight. We're gonna do a side lunge press. We'll add that press for fun. I'll call halfway, so step to the right. We're gonna lunge left here. So your lunge and press. I'm driving a high knee here. All right, go ahead and switch your sides. Step this way, lunge this way, and press. All right, set so that way down. Let's go back to that goddess squat. 
Okay, a little hop at the top if you can. Super wide, toes are out. Get down low, here we go. Ready, pulse, and little jump. Out if you need for a second. Oh. Okay, down in your clamshell. I'm going to take a medium band above the knees. If you want to just stick with your heavy band and then go to the goblet after that. Feel free, this is work enough for me. Okay, not too fast. Up, up, up. Did any of you do that um, total failure, total body workout? Switch sides. I have a rug burn on my elbow from the failure plank dumbbell pull. Oh, it hurt. <laughs> this exercise, I can feel that. That was a good one, though, eh? Get ready for that standing goblet. Okay, you can hold the weight. You can put a heavy band. Your choice, I'm doing heavy. No slip, no roll, resistance. Wider than shoulder width. Ready, pause at the bottom. Pause, push, low, pause, push. You can even pulse down there if you want, just a little bump, little pulse there. The legs out, isn't it? Straight forward. Last year. All right, slip the band off, going into that side lunge. Okay, we're gonna stand that one side for 22 seconds, then we'll switch. So I'm standing on my right, lunging left, dumbbell in my right hand. Reach and press. Side lunge is great for that glute on the bent knee side, the inner thigh on the straight leg side. Go ahead and switch sides. Here we go. Just gonna sip the water here quick. Surprise, my heart rate's up so high. Take a wide. Low, low, little jump. seconds I have to break. Okay, clamshell. That is work. I 
45 seconds per side on this last one, okay? Take it slow, here we go. Up, up, and. I feel like 45 seconds is long, 22 is not long enough. So, challenge yourself. Up. Especially if you're slow like this, this is great. <laughs> Excited about that, Tracy? In fact, I am. Almost there. Ready? Here we go. Because of the bottom and top action here, I feel like anything heavier than a medium band, I wouldn't be able to extend this leg open as far, so I'm happy with this intensity right here. Oh, Nelly, that bottom glued, eh? Wow, okay, okay. Standing squat. I'm definitely taking a break after this, just so you know. I know one of my subscribers, Renee, had said, oh, that took me like longer to do the workout than it took you. But I'm like, okay, I pause quite a bit in between at times, so make sure you take the break that you need, okay? Don't feel bad about it. Okay, round three coming up. Okay, we are starting with a curtsy lunge twist. Okay, so I'm holding an eight pound dumbbell. I'm gonna curtsy here. Twist here, curtsy and twist. I'll come halfway and you can switch. Ready, here we go. Curtsy here and twist. Here and up. Go nice and slow here too, just so you don't lose your balance. You can do this without a weight, of course. Of course, the curtsy lunge, right for that inner thigh that's working. Switch legs and go. Where was I going? Here. Down on your back, you're gonna do a 45 degree dumbbell glute bridge. So, I'm gonna hold my dumbbell on my pelvis, feet are out to 45 degrees, and we're gonna do a rapid pulse glute bridge. Ready? Here we go. And up, up. So with the angle of the foot, slightly targeting that inner thigh as well as glutes. Plie or releve pulse. Okay, stand up. 
So, oh. so you're down here. This is your releve. We're gonna pulse right here, I think. <laughs> Stand on your tiptoes. Here we go, here. So, you see I'm on my tiptoes. Okay, I'm super wide. I'm not sure how long I'll be able to hold this. This is a quad burner. This is inner thigh and quad for sure. Okay, I can do this for a little bit. I'm gonna take a break in three, two, oh my land. Get down as soon as you can. On the tiptoes. Wow, it's hard, eh? I don't know if you can see them on my tiptoes, but I am. Calves are shaking. Okay, that's it for me. Take it down. You're gonna do a lower leg. Lift up and then toe touch. This could also just be on your side without getting up into that toe touch position, okay? Or that glute lift. Benefit here is you're working that inner thigh here. Your stationary glute on the back side. Hold halfway. One more here. And move to switch. Here we go. Up, up. lunge, that's fine. Otherwise, curtsy, a twist. Ready, here we go. Slow, slow, twist. And switch. Slow exhale. Take this second just to bring heart rate down. Concentrate. <laughs> Good try. Getting down to the ground for that lower leg lift. Toe touch. Okay. 
from that <laughs> Okay, take it down. Bottom leg reaches to your hand, push through that stationary leg. Here we go, up. On the side, move to switch and work. Really try to lift that leg up to the hand instead of the hand down to the leg, okay? I just noticed I was doing that, so. Okay, one more round. Curtsy. Four, three, two, one. Oh, my calf is just like trembling. Okay, last exercise in this circuit. Take it down for your lower leg lift. Remember, reach your foot up to your hand. Sides and work. 
Okay, one shorter little last circuit coming up. You're gonna go into a rainbow. So let's get on your hands and knees. You could put a band around um, your legs here, but I'm just gonna do a rainbow just like this, okay? So I'll call halfway, get ready in three, two, straight leg up and around. So you're making an arc in essence, but you don't wanna let your back sag when the arc is at the top, okay? That's the name of the game, is to get the leg up without moving the back. Wow, glute activation. Switch your legs and work up, up. You're gonna move up to a plie heel lift next. So get ready for that. position and you're gonna get low or alternating heel lifts. I just can't go right now. Okay, get low. Left, right, left, right. Good. Just an ISO hold right here. So you'll begin to feel it shortly in the glutes, in the inner thighs, activating the calf which runs up to the top of the leg as well. Halfway. Keep going. We're gonna take this and I'm gonna put my heavy band above my knees. We're gonna do a plie squat next, okay? So, if you don't have a band, you're using a dumbbell, either holding low or holding high. Wow. Okay, good. Let's go above the knees. This heavy band is great for plie, because it doesn't roll. I'll have to be really slow about it though. So I'm low and up. Because it's so heavy, if I'm not slow and careful, my knees could collapse, which puts tension uh, on the outside of the knee, on the inside of the knee. Okay, so if you have knee issues, you're not doing this with a band, you're using the dumbbell. This is just like that goblet at the beginning. We were nice and slow, very controlled. Here, 10 more seconds. Okay, down for your rainbow. Hiya. Specific, and we do all of those components in there. But this was very targeted, and I'll be interested to see how very sore I am tomorrow. I can tell I will be. So we'll see. You don't. That's not the name of the game. To be so sore you can't walk. You don't want that. You you don't, because then you can't work out the next day. You have to recover for days. And it's really hard on the body and your ligaments and joints and muscles. So. Hopefully you've worked up to this level and you're uh, gonna be okay. You'll feel it, but you won't die. 
Oh. <laughs> All right, plie. Above the knees if you're using a band. Slow and control. One more here. It's like I'm praying to the gods for it to end, please. Okay, last round, everyone. Ready? Let's hit it hard. Straight leg. Up. Tap. Tap. Take my hubby's home. Come on in, man, if you need to. This is the beauty of working from home in quarantine. Everyone's gonna be here. What are you gonna do? You have it, I have it. It happens. Switch sides. I did hear the garage door, so it's probably waiting out in the garage. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Okay, good. Moving into that plie, heel lift. Woo! Two more exercises, and we are done. Take it wide. Cool. Point your toes out, and here we go. Lift, lift, up. Stay tall on this. You don't want to round, okay? It's a drop of the glutes, not a hinge of the waist. How's it going? <laughs> Did you have fun? Ish? I liked it. It's something different. We like different. Gotta switch things up, otherwise I'd get so bored. You'd get bored. So that's why I like to just think of something different and bring it for you people. I was gonna say ladies, but there's some boys. Thank you, boys. Okay, oh, I can't believe I did that the whole round. Last exercise. You. Oh, I kind of fried. Let's go. Put this on. Above. Just undid my shoe. Super wide. Come in if you need to, Q. That's fine, I'm on my last exercise. I just told them that you'd have to come in, so do your thing. Say hi to everyone. Hey. <laughs> is this your? Uh, this is the. This is. Group of husbands that are exercising. Do you have a husband that's not exercising? Would you like him to do a workout for you? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> we'll do a vote. I asked him to. He actually said he would. Do one for you, right? I'll do one to start with, and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I might not like it. They might not like it. That's <laughs> true. Be interested to know what equipment they have. Yeah. Well, they probably have what the girls have. Well, I don't know this. <laughs> it's true. Oh, you're done. You've moved daily in your glute and inner thigh workout. Thanks for joining. That was hard. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about the workout and join me for a stretch if you can. Okay, let's go right into pigeon here. That was a that was killer on all the lower body, wasn't it? I would definitely recommend an upper body something tomorrow. Um, don't even touch the legs. I wouldn't even do cardio on the legs. I'm gonna just do an isolated strength upper body workout. <laughs> that was really good though. Again, I'll be interested to see how, where, where on my body that, that you know, is the most tender. Um, I, glutes, I've done a lot of glute stuff, like a lot of squats, you know, deadlifts, lunges. So I feel like it's gonna be more inner thigh because I'll do like maybe a side lunge, but not multiple side lunge ac actions. 
So let's get into that child's pose. So really open up your hips, push your pelvis down and your chest down and just stretch that out. Deep breath in, slow exhale, press your chest toward the ground. That's it. Okay, slowly round up through the back. And I'm just gonna push my alternating hip back towards the back wall while I'm in that rounded position. Good. Okay, let's come to seated. Stretch out the hamstring a little bit here. Good. Just hinge forward, hold yourself down there if you can. Cavs got that too on all that uh, heel lift and that releve plie. Um, yeah, my daughter spent years and years in dance and so they had to, as a company dancer, switch sides, they had to do, you know, the essential ballet component. And so she would come home with all of these phrases and terminology that I didn't really understand because I didn't dance growing up, but I do remember her saying the word releve. So when I saw that exercise, I'm like, oh yeah, I bet her coach Sam had made her do that multiple times. And I look at my daughter's like glutes and calves right now and they're just like rocks, like they're solid muscle. So you can tell that doing those actions over and over and over and over obviously is gonna build size in that area. So, so if you want again to build that part of your lower body and really sculpt and strengthen that area, put this kind of workout on repeat. But if you want to lose body fat on your inner thighs, then you've got to have nutrition in your driver's seat, right? Um, it, it just has to be paramount to changing your body composition. So you've got to eat whole foods, you know, eat enough protein to build lean muscle tissue, make sure you're having healthy fats, lots of vegetables, complex carbohydrates, and, and having that balance in your meal. Uh, that's and a poutine. whole- No poutine. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's horrible. He does like poutine from time to time though. And I I have a few fries when he has it. I'm not going to lie. Liar. I'm not going to lie. Okay, I don't like having him here anymore. All right, thanks. Go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. I'll see you in the next workout. And here's an upper body workout there. Don't forget, if you want to be a part of our membership, which gives you extra help in all of these arenas, check that out right there. See ya.